Hi, my name's Craig. I'm the technical manager here at QNAP UK. Today I wanted to take a look at a uh, Plex alternative, I guess you could call it. Um, so we've got um, an app here called MB. Um, it's not in the App Center on the QNAP, just like you would find with um, Plex. So it's not a single click install from the App Center, but it doesn't take a, uh, much more steps to get it done. Um, one thing you will have to do is go to MB's website, first of all, and go to mb.media. So we can see that up there. Um, when you're on here, you can see a little bit about the software, but basically it is your personal media on any device, um, all hosted directly from the QNAP. Um, so the first thing you need to do is go to the download section at the top of the page. When you go to download, you can see we've got some NAS options here. We can go ahead and click the QNAP one. And then in this list, you've got a couple of options. You can choose the main software or you can choose the beta software. So I'm going to show you the main one today. Um, I'm running this on a TS-251D-4G, uh, um, so nothing hugely powerful, uh, basically a dual core Celeron with 4 gig of RAM. So I've chosen the top option there, but they've given you some helpful hints depending on which ARM version you have as to which version of the software you have to download for your NAS. But it's not exclusive to just the Intel uh, or AMD based QNAPs. So I've already downloaded this file, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to my QNAP. Little overview just to show you the NAS I'm using here. So the TS251D with 4 gig of RAM. Um, so running QTS, not QUTS Hero or anything like that. So what I'm going to do first of all is go to the App Center. And we can see from the App Center view, I don't really have anything installed here, um, including MB. But to add it, you click on Install Manually. You go to the Browse option. And then you pick the MB server uh, queue package that you will have downloaded from their website. Click Open and click Install. You'll get a couple of warnings here because it doesn't have a digital signature. Um, it's up to you if you want to trust this. I'm going to say OK to that. So it's going to go off and install it. It should take uh, just a couple of seconds. Um, very small uh, package, very quick and easy, low on resources um, on the QNAP. OK, so basically that's the software installed already. We didn't speed anything up there. Um, you will see this um, exclamation mark next to the um, application once it's installed, simply because it wasn't installed from the App Center. You installed it manually. So that's there, and you can click Open there, or you can click on the icon that's on the desktop there. So I'll click on that one, and it will open up a new web browser. It's a different port number, same IP address as your QNAP, just on a different port number. So the QNAP's interface is on 8080 or 443, depending what you're using by default. This is using 8096, and we just have a small bit of setup to go through to get MB working. So first it wants your preferred display language, so I'm going to pick English UK. <clears throat> Need you to create a password, so I'll just put one of those in there. Uh, I'm not going to link it to an MB Connect account, so I'm just going to click Next. I'm going to add a new library, so it needs to know where the media is, so I'm going to add a movies library. I'm going to say that's fine to call it movies. I'm going to click the plus symbol next to folders because I need to tell it where the movies are. So here it's automatically put uh, most of the information for you. You just have to scroll down here at this list. And right at the bottom I've got the movies folder I created where I've put a couple of movies in there. So we can see that that's now updated that. And nothing else needs to be done here. I'm just going to click OK. Um, as we scroll down and we're back on the page we can see that it's entered the movie path that we wanted. And now it wants to know the language of everything that you want to put in here. So if I just put in English, country, scroll right to the bottom, United Kingdom, preferred image download. So I'm going to say English on this one as well. And you can choose a few options here. So I'm generally going to leave everything as default. Fine to enable real time monitoring. I'm OK with the movie DB as the um, option to download the information. And as you scroll down, there's a few extra options you can click on if you want to. Subtitles as well, if you wanted to automatically download subtitles. And I'm just going to click OK without changing any other options. So we see the libraries there. We're going to click Next. And now it just wants to confirm some information. So I'm going to say UK here for all the metadata that it's going to download. And click Next. I'm going to untick these. I don't need remote access to my MB server. And I don't have UPnP on my network. So um, I'm... This wouldn't work anyway if I had that tick, so I'm going to click Next. Um, accept the Terms of Service, click Next, and now click Finish. <clears throat> so now you've just got to log in when you've done all the setup. So that's the password that you just typed. It doesn't have to be the same as the QNAP, so you can set that as a different password. And I'm going to click Sign In. 
and we can see it's already found uh, the two movies that I've added into it. So uh, if we were to click into here, we can look at more information about it. It's it took took all this information automatically. If I go look at the uh, the movie folder to show you what I put in there, <clears throat> so if I go to the movies folder, all I put in there was two file names. That's all I put. I didn't put any information, any pictures of anybody. It all just comes completely automatically. So it's downloaded all these uh, pictures of people. Um, you've got a trailer option up there, um, more like this. So there's another sort of superhero movie right there. Um, different links gives you information about uh, about the file as well. So everything's there. More importantly, you've got the play button there at the top. Um, so you can click play and it should start playing the movie. Okay, so that's that. Playing straight away, absolutely no problem. Um, so that's up and running in just a couple of minutes. It's very easy. Um, just some additional information. There is a button up here called MB Premiere. So this is very much like a Plex Pass for anybody used to Plex. Um, so MB Premiere offers some extra options. So you've got three basic options, monthly, yearly, or a lifetime membership. And the extra features it offers are listed here on their website. So things like uh, TV recordings if you want to do it, some apps, uh, offline modes so if you wanted to download your media offline to uh, things like Android, iOS or Windows. Um, so there's a few different options that it's got there. If you need any of these features, by all means you can uh, you can pay for the subscription direct with MB. Um, but everything uh, generally functions just fine on the QNAP without those features. It's only if you need these advanced features that uh, you'd have to get a license. Ultimately it is free. Um, everything I've shown you today is completely free. I don't have um, MB, MB Premiere on, on my setup here. So it's completely set up just, just as it is there. Um, but it's very easy to set up. And if you wanted to add TV shows, you can add TV shows and different ones. They'll all appear here at the top and you can switch between the categories. Uh, there's a pull out here so you can see all your different categories on the left if you want to. Or you've got a settings option which you can reach from here. Or there's also a cog at the top right. Um, and in here you've got absolutely loads of settings if you want to go in there. So you want to change settings for anything, add your MB Premiere. Um, really customize your home screen, set your display types, everything you can do direct through uh, through the setting portal that's built into it. Um, so it's a very quick and easy setup, very easy to, to play around, mess around with it, to set it up. Um, as I say, it's not available in the QNAP App Center. Um, you do have to go over to the uh, MB website and download the Q package file yourself directly. Um, and it's very, very easy to install. You just have to click OK on a couple of those messages on the, uh, the QNAP itself to just understand that you're installing something that we haven't checked. OK, um, if anybody does have any questions, please do let us know. Uh, we're pretty quick at responding. Um, so just, just leave a comment below and we'll get back to you as quick as we can. OK, thanks a lot. See you in the next one.